Well, the home appliances industry has seen a variety of pressures, but at the same time, there has been consistent demand amidst the pandemic with input cost rising. So now to talk more about this in detail and to know about the plan to portion seasons home appliances, we have with us the MD and CEO of the company, Mr. Neeraj Bal. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for talking to PT now. So if you could start by telling us about the new range of washing machines that you have launched in the premium segment, and also what sort of plan is there in terms of the a market share that you have currently or that the market share that you're aiming for in this segment. Uh, thank you, Brenka. Uh, we have launched our premium range in front load washing machines. Uh, we've launched around 17 models uh, in 8 kg and above. So what we observed, you know, uh, during pandemic and uh, even after uh, wave one, that people have moved to premium range and people are moving towards premium range, better appliances, better brands who can provide, you know, good service and brands uh, who have legacy and also, you know, uh, confidence in the customers so looking at that and market is also shifting towards uh, 8 kg and above so we've launched around 17 models in 8 kg and above we've also launched washer dryers like 9 by 6 10 by 6 and also individual dryers so this is the kind of range what we have launched recently in front load washing machines and i'm happy to share that we have now contributing more than 40 45 percent of our sales from premium range only what about the market share in this category uh, to be very frank, overall, we are a number four player right now, and we are aiming to be number three player very soon. All right, sir. So this change in behavior that you spoke about, that customers are looking to upgrade their appliances because, of course, they have to stay at home. They're always prepared that probably there will be another lockdown. So it is best to have an appliance that does not break down, you know, within that period. Is that something that you're seeing in other appliances also? Uh, and how is that working for you in terms of strategy and sales? It, uh, this behavior of consumer is not for washing machines. This is otherwise also. And overall, whether it is our mixer grinders, we have seen now 60% of the sales are coming from our 1000 watt mixer grinder, which is one of the best mixer grinders in the country right now. And that is the costliest with us. And 60% sales uh, are coming from that. And similar uh, things we have noticed in our uh, PCG range, which is our cooking range, and also our refrigerators. So 400 plus refrigerators, our sales have gone three times, four times. Okay, so this is the change which we are observing across uh, categories, not only in washing machines. So I think overall behavior is changing uh, by the customer. Right, so another thing is that last time when we had spoken, you had said that because of how badly people have been affected in the second wave, there is a possibility that pent up demand might not exist because everybody has been impacted. But you know, now that we are in July, we have put the second wave behind us. Of course, there is fear still. But do you think that there is demand that has come back? People are waiting to buy whatever appliances they require because now it's become a necessity. It is a mixed kind of thing what we'll see as far as market is concerned. Uh, people are saying that DIY goods have come down uh, and the pent up demand is not there. But uh, fortunately for Bosch, it is not the case. Uh, we have we've been registering uh, solid growth uh, as compared to last year also. Uh, we've been growing over 50%, you know, and uh, rather I'll say we, we've been growing now over 60% in H1, uh, which is Jan to June. Uh, quarter one, we were growing by 100%. Uh, of course, after April and May, there was some setback to us, but still we are going uh, growing above 60%. In dishwashers, we set a record. Uh, we are the market leaders, but even we set a record last year in July, where we sold uh, the highest ever dishwashers, you know. Uh, but uh, surprisingly, we have crossed that figure in June this year. Right. And in the other categories as well, sir, apart from dishwasher, has this demand led to a change in your market share, a growth in market share? Mixed the grinders. All right. So, so how much of a growth has come in there in market share? Uh, market share right now, uh, I won't be talking about mixer grinders, but as far as growth is concerned, uh, yeah. we've been growing over 200% in mixer grinders uh, this year, which is phenomenal. Right. La last so, whole year, uh, yeah. yeah, whatever numbers we've sold last whole whole year, uh, we have uh, almost crossed 75% of that in Jan to June, and the season is uh, yet to come. 
Right. You know? Yeah. Sister, oh, you know, if the sales are that good, do you see the need? I mean, I know all appliance companies will be taking a price hike because the input costs are, of course, they've not been compensated for in the price hikes that have been passed on until now. So how are you going to go ahead with the price hike? Or do you think that will impact the demand at all? Or, or uh, you know, there will be no impact on demand? Good question. Uh, we've been uh, struggling with this uh, as other brands also. There's a huge uh, cost impact on organizations on every front. It's not only on uh, you know logistics fronts, wherein the container costs have gone 15 times. You know, uh, from China, Turkey, Germany, everywhere. One is that cost. Second is uh, there's a global shortage of microchip which is now uh, right now it has not affected us but now uh, it will affect us in second half very badly third uh, plastic resin copper everything has gone up substantially that is why uh, it is not possible uh, for organizations who want to sustain with profitable growth to not to pass that to consumer we are also contemplating, uh, we have absorbed a lot of cost, but still some cost will have to be passed to consumer. But I don't think so that will make much of difference because right now we are not dealing in the mass products and uh, the kind of consumer and the TG what we have, uh, it's 5%, uh, 7% cost increase does not create that kind of negative impact uh, for Bosch. So, sir, how much is it going to be in the range of 5 to 7% for you? In this we month? have already increased in last 8 months. We've already increased 7 to 8%. I'm, uh, we might have to increase another 2% in October. In October. So, I think so you have pushed forward your price hike because you have said June, July is when you're seeing. We've done it. Yeah. We've done that price hike of 4% in July. All right. Okay, so that price hike has been undertaken and yet probably yeah. October is when you will have to see. All right, so, so uh, you know, also talking about the season, as you said, the festive season is upcoming at the same time, the third wave is really looking uncertain right now. Uh, but you say that the demand also exists. So how do you see that panning out over the next few months? It's going to be very tricky. It's going to be very tricky. We're cross-fingered, but... Uh, uh, Companies with good planning and good execution skills will survive. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, our teams are there in the market with uh, all the confidence and uh, we will survive this. Uh, there is a possibility of third wave and I don't deny that. But uh, it will a lot depend upon vaccination, uh, how people are taking vaccination, how government is, uh, you know, uh, making it possible for spreading it fast and uh, I really hope uh, and I, I really pray that the entire country gets vaccinated by end of this year then the things will improve for, for sure uh, it can impact us before uh, festival season uh, there can be a negative uh, sentiment in the market uh, if that happens before festival season it will definitely impact sales Right, so yeah, that is true. I think a lot depends also on the vaccination and the how severe the third wave is. Yeah. So going back to the point you made about semiconductor shortage, you said it has not impacted you right now, but is there any impact expected in the next few weeks or so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we are already anticipating shortage in uh, production of July and August. We've been confirmed. Around six thousand to seven thousand dishwashers have been reduced for the new range which we launched, uh, which is Home Connect. And also, we will have this impact on our refrigerators, uh, imported refrigerators. And we have also, uh, we will have our impact on Siemens built-in appliances. So I am anticipating a great shortage in last quarter. So how much is it going to impact in terms of, you know, the demand supply gap that is likely to come? Around 15%. Okay. All right, sir. And sir, uh, if you can also help us understand about your Chennai plant and your India-made refrigerators. Um, now, as you said, of course, an impact will come in because of semiconductor shortage. What is going to be the production plan there going forward? Okay, so uh, 
we are on track you know the overall things were delayed uh, in uh, chennai plant because of pandemic last year so now the revised plan was to start the sales uh, from 1st october so we are on track uh, the production will start next month august uh, and and uh, this year we have a plan of around you know selling around 30 35000 refiners only from that plant so uh, i'm very excited my team is very excited and that will be our first venture into real uh, refiner world in india and we will start from 260 liters and it will go up to 390 liters and we are coming with a beautiful product like three door and that will have a convertible uh, flexible refrigerator uh, and also all our refrigerators will be convertible we are launching around 25 to 30 models all convertibles and that will be a real convertible which india will ever see and uh, so we are very excited and next year is going to be a big Uh, jump for us in turnovers because of our uh, new range of refrigerators. So, sir, these plans that you had laid down that you expect to launch the chimney goods and the refrigerator launch, which is uh, August and October, is still on track. A uh, top load washing machine cooked up, pushed up to push to January. So, that is what it remains the same right now. A slight change. Uh, so, refrigerator is on track. Chimneys are on track. Uh, top load we might prepone uh, we might launch few models uh, along with refrigerators and uh, few models in january all right sir thank you so and much sir for cook top has been pushed to uh, january or maybe february all right yeah yeah okay. okay sir thanks a lot for joining us on easy now and helping us with all those details uh, thank you for taking the time thank you priyanka take care have a nice day